Hello the people! My name is Matt Fisher and today we're going to be talking about Dropbox. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Dropbox is, Dropbox is a file sharing website. Uh, they also have a Mac app, an iPhone app, an iPad app, and an Android app. And today I'm going to be showing you guys seven other uses for Dropbox beyond just sharing files. So the first other use for Dropbox I'm going to be showing you guys today is copying your Mac clipboard to your iPad uh, or iPhone or Android app, whatever you may be using. Um, and to do this, we're going to need Automator, and we're going to have to create an Automator service. So we're going to open up Automator. We're going to click on Service. Uh, we want to make sure that we leave the, the first options that it gives us at its default. And then we're going to scroll down until we find something that says Run Shell Script. We're going to click on it and drag it to our workflow. And then from here, we're going to delete the cat, the default text that it has. And we're going to place this line of code in. Um, I'll just read that line of code out. So it's cat greater than tilde slash dropbox slash mac clipboard dot text. And then from here, all we have to do is file save. And we can name this anything we want. I'm going to name this add to Dropbox and now if I were to view any sort of text um, if I were to open up a PDF file and highlight some sort of text right click on that I can click add to Dropbox and then if I go into my Dropbox folder Right here under Mac clipboard.txt, you will see that there is a text that I highlighted, and this will just continuously add text, uh, or uh, they will continuously add my Mac clipboard to this uh, to this text file, uh, so I can view it whenever I want. So my second other use for Dropbox is requesting files. Uh, we are very text savvy people here at the Fisher household. And oftentimes we will send emails to each other either requesting a file or requesting something along those lines. Um, and AirDropper makes it really easy to request those files than having to send, you know, emails or even yelling throughout the house. We can just go to AirDropper and AirDropper pretty much does that for us. It um, connects to Dropbox, then sends a request for the file, and then the recipient can upload the file, and then the file will arrive in my Dropbox. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how that works. So we're just going to click the start at airdropper.com and all the links uh, to everything that I mentioned will be in the down bar down below. Uh, I get this little message from Dropbox. I'm just going to click allow. And it's going to be back to Airdropper so I can just put in my email address. And I can send it to their email address. I can choose not to send them an email. Uh, what file am I requesting? I can request a Google Calendar. And I'm going to put that file there. So I could click Send. And then here is the um, upload link and password for the requested file. And everything else is uh, pretty much self explanatory. Um, if what's going to happen is that they'll follow this link, um, they'll have may, they'll have to enter the password. The password is right there, and then they will be able to upload the file, and then I'll be able to access that file. The third other use for Dropbox is emailing files to your Dropbox. Um, and you can use that using a service called Habilis. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, and what you need to do is you just go to gethabilis.com. You're going to connect to your Dropbox, and then they will give you an email address, a special email address like this. Um, and then I will show you guys, once you have this email address, uh, you guys are going to, going to go into your mail client. You're going to use that as uh, who you're sending it to. Um, and then you're going to, you know, you can attach a file. Here I'm attaching a um, template that I'm using for a business card that will uh, upload and then once it's uploaded, I'm going to just click send. Um, it's going to send that file 
and then I can go into my Dropbox and in my from Habilis folder and there is the business card template that I just emailed. My next other use for Dropbox is um, going to be a quick way to access your Dropbox files. Um, and you can do that through a Chrome or Firefox extension. Um, I already have the extension installed right here, so how you use it, you would just click on the icon, and then a thing will appear. And then I can enter my Dropbox email. Enter my password. And then sign in. And right here I can access all of my Dropbox files and I can even view uh, my recent events. So my next use for Dropbox is starting torrents from any computer. Um, so we need to open up our torrent client. Our torrent client that we're going to be using today is called Transmission. Uh, this also works with several other uh, torrent clients like uh, BitTorrent or uTorrent. You just need to uh, search in the preferences. So in Transmission, we're going to go into our preferences. We're going to go to the Transfers tab, and we're going to select the last box that says Auto Add. And then the folder that it's going to watch for torrents in um, is a torrent file in my uh, Dropbox. So next we're going to open up my Dropbox folder and into that torrents folder I'm just going to grab a torrent that I specifically made for the purpose of this video and after dragging it in there it starts to seed or I'm sorry download rather in transmission. So that is a very useful feature if I'm on a computer away uh, from my iMac, perhaps I am on my MacBook, I can easily add a torrent and have that start downloading. So my next other use for Dropbox is adding PDFs to iBooks. Um, here I have a robotics paper PDF that I did earlier this school year. Um, I'm going to drag that into my eBooks folder and then I'm going to access that folder from my iPad. So now we are on my iPad and we're going to open up the Dropbox app. And from the Dropbox app we're going to access that ebooks folder that I was talking about earlier. Then we're going to select roboticspaper.pdf. And once that is loaded I'm just going to give you guys a quick scroll through. So once that's loaded, we're going to click the uh, top right hand icon and we're going to choose to open in iBooks and that will launch iBooks and here we have the robotics paper PDF that I had. And that is how to transfer PDFs to iBooks. So the final other use or trick that I'm going to show you using Dropbox is how to edit files. Um, on my iPad I have an app called DropText, which costs currently 99 cents, um, and I can use DropText to edit files. So right now I'm going to select that Mac clipboard.txt file that uh, we created earlier. And then from there I'm just going to select, and I can just type random things, then click save. It will take a couple seconds to save, and now that app has been edited. So that has been seven other uses for Dropbox. If you would like more information on Dropbox, please go to www.dropbox.com. Uh, if you would like more information on me, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash fisher12. I also have two websites you're welcome to check out, macosxtutorials.com, where I post written tutorials, and I also have a very large collection of desktop, iPhone, and iPad wallpapers. And my second website is mosxt.me, which is my own personal URL shortening website, which you guys are welcome to use. Once again, my name is Matt Fisher. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and remember to stay frosty.